Yeah, 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 go. Oh, that looked cool. Hi, my name is Alice, and I'm the production and location manager for Bury the Hatchet. Here we are in Portsmouth, Little Woodham, a 17th century historical village. It is the main location for our film, which is a horror also set in the 17th century. Choosing the right location is vital for making a good film, as it not only sets the overall mood and tone of the film, but also greatly influences set design. Having an aesthetically pleasing set can really bring your film to a whole new level. Luckily for us, Little Woodham has a lot of historically accurate household items that we can use as props to play with, and also just has overall small details that really help sell the authenticity of the time period, making Little Woodham a perfect location for our film. Hi, I'm Jordan. I'm in charge of the sound capture and using the boom mic on the set of our production. Ensuring that the sound captured for our fundraiser video was high quality was very important to me, mainly because it makes it easier to fix and post, but beside that, we wanted to sound as professional as possible. To me, sound is so important because if it's done badly, it will stick out and completely detach the audience. When I'm not on sound, I'm currently sitting in as our plague doctor, Osmond, which is always fun, minus the fact I can't see and have to be physically moved around by members of the crew to avoid being set on fire. Hi, I'm Kit, the DOP and Steadicam operator for Bury the Hatchet. Here I am on set using my own equipment to film our fundraiser video with the results on screen. We love our film and know we didn't want to waste any time on location, so we did some quick handheld test shots to test for the look, editability and pacing of the video, which you can see side by side here. Hi there, welcome to the fundraising page of Bury the Hatchet. And Oswin's past is darker than it seems. This year, it's not going to cut it. Should you choose to donate to our production, this is where your donator will receive the hatchet used on set. So, thank you, please. As a second assistant camera on set and editor in the post production process of the fundraiser video for our Indiegogo campaign of Bury the Hatchet. One of my main responsibilities was to help the director and the camera department in terms of continuity, following the shot list and marking every single shot with the clapperboard. As a consequence of our hard work in the production process of the fundraiser video, I have managed to picture lock my edit in only one day, achieving the look we were aiming for and fast-paced editing techniques. Hi, I'm Emily and I'm the production designer for Bury the Hatchet. On our social media campaign shoot, I was responsible for the set dressing, the props and costume design for the Plague Doctor costume, photography for our Find the Hatchet interactive game and editing of the images I took for this. I handmade elements of the costume and also spent extensive amounts of time researching Plague Doctor attire from the 17th century because I wanted to create a costume as authentic and true to the era as possible. I then designed and sourced pieces for the character of Osmond, handmade the belt and altered the costume in a fitting too. For the set dressing, we were lucky enough to have a location with many props from the 17th century already there and available to use. I added candles and also arranged pots, firewood and other pieces to make the background of shots more visually pleasing. Here's the rest of the camera squad. I'm Liv, the camera operator. And I'm Georgia, the first assistant camera. In Little Woodham, we had a lot of fun testing out the different camera settings to create the videos that you see on Bury the Hatchet's social media. Here we got Kit and Jacob to help us out for our little woodchop idea. Now we wanted to ramp up the shutter speed to create a really cool slow-mo effect, but unfortunately the Blackmagic camera can only shoot up to a measly 60 frames per second. <laughs> Which is pretty lame. Here we wanted to show you the process of forming an idea from the paper to the screen. However, not everything always goes to plan. Yeah, in fact, when I was walking around the village, I saw this gate and I thought it would look really cool if we got some haze on it and some harsh directional lighting. So I got Georgia, our moon, and <laughs> Cecilia, the dit to blast some smoke on it, and that's how we got this shot. Another one of my favourite shots here was really tricky because it was so dark and we were on a really tight aperture, so the depth of field was about a centimetre long which makes it really hard to swing the locket and still stay in focus. Mm. It, we were also on a really tight schedule, but thankfully Saskia was there <laughs> providing more support all the way. On the day of filming our social media campaign, I was in charge of the fire safety on set. 
On the day, we used wooden torches. This meant I had to learn how to ignite and extinguish the fires. The process was simple. However, the foliage was quite overgrown in the area, so I needed to undergo a short safety assessment of the area before we started. In the meantime, it's a huge thank you for myself. And, and the whole team! team.